What is going on YouTube? As you can tell by the title of this video, I've came to my, uh, I guess my senses, or uh, I'm just going to be being honest with you uh, when it comes to what I'm doing on YouTube for 2021. I'm not getting famous anytime soon, and I'm cool with that. I'm fine with that. Um, as long as I can have a good time racing, it is what it is. So this video, I'm going to talk to you about the car. We've got a giant mess up here that I have got to get some... Uh, some floor dry, some absorbent stuff, and uh, show you what we got going on with the rear of the car now with the mini tub. And um, we got some stuff taken care of on the front of the car, and it's uh, it's decently warm here today. Only had the heater on for a little bit, so yeah. It's 2021 now, this will be the first video of 2021, so thank you so much for your support. And uh, if you're here, I'm not famous yet. We'll see how 2021 goes, but it's not looking good. It is what it is. Um, the way the algorithms work and the way that things go probably won't be in 2021. It is what it is. Um, it's cool. We're still going to race. We're still going to have a good time. And we're still going to, uh, you know, get this little four-door car doing what it's doing. I don't put these videos up to be famous. Um, I do them for me. I do them for my family. Just to, just to watch and have a good time and to laugh and, you know, some people like to see what's going on with the car and that's why I do it. Don't do it to be famous. I don't have, uh, you know, I don't have the following like people do. I'm not going to do certain things, I guess, um, and I'm not the smartest when it comes to social media marketing. It is what it is. I'm not really worried about it. Um, but I thought you might, guys may like to, uh, to click the video, see what we're doing, and see what's going on. 2021 is going to be a bunch of no prep racing, and that's the plan for us, is to just do a lot of no prep and street stuff with this thing. So I'll show you what we got going now. Back of the car is completely cut out. Let me flip this down so we can see. I'll open a door here. This tub completely cut out. I've still got to clean some stuff up here. That tub completely cut out. So the other issue that I ran into, well, we also did some investigating about our, yeah, as you can see, where the car is tilted forward, I accidentally left the oil drain pointed down. And so we don't have any turbo, we don't have any heads. Um, and I told y'all, I thought that we had an issue of getting air pockets. Um, and as you can see, I have got to get some floor dry and get this thing cleaned up. So, heads are good. This head gasket, completely fine. No biggie. And this was the side that we actually had all the problems out of last go around was this passenger side and um, that one was no good. Our problem was this side. So let me show you the driver's side bank. Ignore all the trash. I promise I'm gonna clean it up one of these days. So I set it out here because we took pictures of it earlier. But as you can tell, we got one cylinder, two cylinder, three cylinder, and four. There's no way that we did that whole bank from tuning or timing. Um, just not. There's no way. And so I'm pretty sure that the issue is from the uh, radiator setup, which we are fixing. So we got that. This, what else we got? Yes. This right here. We got our new five-gallon fuel tank. It's going to sit farther back here um, and I should have plenty of room um, I've got this one wheel tub in here it's not really well it's not installed because my problem is the Team Z mini tub kit has enough metal to go to like right here 
the nine and a quarter inches or whatever from here to here. And on their website, which, you know, it is, it's no big deal, but on their website, on the installation instructions, it shows a big sheet, a big tub that you cut down. And I'm sure that they got wise over the years and was like, we're not gonna send so much material for our customers to cut down. And so they sent like 10 and a quarter, I think it is, which I can show you over here. They sent like 10 and a quarter of the tub wrap, the wrap around part. And I need like 15. Um, as you can see here, this is the tub that comes with the Team Z kit. So I've sent them a message. Hopefully they can get me some to like out here. Uh, my problem that we are having is that uh, these cars are not like the Fox body because like if you, a Fox body, this comes out a lot farther. And as you can see here, it got hot and actually bubbled the paint here. See if I can turn this around. You probably can't see it, but here in this area is where, see if you can see, I need some light, but right here in this area is where the tire, I had, and what I did is for dig or die, I cut along that line and just cut it out. And actually I cut too much of it out. So I knew that I was gonna have to put bigger tubs in it and I was gonna take the tub all the way to the body. So I guess it's considered a full tub, not a mini tub. That's what I hear anyways. So now I'm looking for, uh, or I'm, I sent a message to them hoping they can just send me the right top part or whatever. I don't wanna buy a whole tub kit just for the top piece because they've already gave me some awesome preformed inner wells or whatever you wanna call that. So I don't want to have to uh, to order one from like All Star Performance or Jegs or any of those places. Not whenever I can just use, and I mean, I would have two tub wells or whatever you wanna call them extra for no reason. So, hoping that I can do that um, and I'll be good to go. I've got a little bit of stuff to do. I've got to pull the rear end out and we're gonna get it set up. I've got to clean in here for me to be able to do much more work. Um, it's sort of annoying, but it seemed like summer just disappeared and I didn't get to do my very good cleaning job. We've got Cashton's toys over here in the way and then we've got I need another workbench over here for, to set stuff on. So time, money, and uh, just stuff, just work getting in the way of getting things done. So we've got a lot to do. This mini tub is sort of an endeavor um, to say the least. I've got a lot to do and not a lot of time to get there. So now, you know, I cut these things out and the problem is the, uh, I've got to put this rear end where it needs to be so that I can weld these uh, strut towers in. So I don't know, we've got, we got a lot to do waiting on those tubs now. And uh, then we've got, we've got the rear end, whole rear end has to come out. We've got to shorten that deal. Um, hopefully uh, some stuff from the wheel company will be here soon so we can fit those in where they need to be. And then I've got to buy brakes. I've got transmission that I've got coming. We've got to figure out what I want to do on the engine side of things. I do have new head gasket, so we could just slap it back together. Um, so there's a lot to do. And we've got a lot of racing that we can do in 2021 if we if we so choose and hopefully if the with way it is the way it's going to be that this will be a contender so we'll see i'm gonna, we're going to try our best and hopefully it is um the car should weigh a decent amount less on this setup whenever we put everything back in i say a decent amount but i say it'll be 20 30 pounds lighter just because of how much i've cut out of the frame um so i've got you know, we got a lot to work to do and we got not a whole lot of time. It is the beginning of January, technically. It's like six or seven weeks, seven or eight weeks maybe. And the first no prep, the thaw out in Darlington will be here. So I've got a lot of work to do um, in a short amount of time. So which I know a lot of this is just, you got to sort of just do it and, and then it'll be done. I've got my nine inch ends. I've got the brackets for this. I've got the lower control arm brackets. 
and um, so it's not that big of a deal, but it, it is at the same time. So you know, it's the struggle that every car guy faces. That uh, you know, there's no, there's not much off season anymore. It don't seem so. Yeah, 2021 going to be fun, and I just wanted to you know fill you guys in. Not getting famous in 2021, not not through YouTube. It just doesn't look like it's in the cards for us. No big deal. I ain't worried about it, but um, I am excited for 2021 when it comes to the car and things. Uh, I think we can make some ripples in the uh, racing world, so we'll see. Yeah, so I'm not going to bore you guys with me cleaning up this other side of this tub. You've seen it. It's no big deal. Um, I don't want to bore you with the same time lapse and crap again. I'm going to clean this side up over here um, best as I can today. And then we're wear really waiting on parts again. And I can pull this, this rear end out and I'll get it set over. Whenever I get it set over where it needs to be and we start cutting it apart and taking it apart, I'll make a video for you guys and show you exactly what we're doing there. So, yep. That's going to be it for this video. Um, I appreciate all the support. We're at over 2.6 thousand subscribers, and it's awesome. Stay tuned. We've got a lot of racing to do. It's going to be a couple of build months, a couple of uh, off months, off season build time stuff. So not a lot of racing here in the next little bit, but it's going to be cool. We're going to come back with this thing locked and loaded, gunning for bear here, and just really give it what for uh, next year uh, really threw this thing together for dig or die like i've already said before and uh, this time it's going to be this is some stuff that i've been wanting to do for a while and so it's going to be awesome i'm pretty excited about it i am uh, yeah i'm i'm pumped um little four-door car gonna make some waves hopefully so that's gonna be it for this video uh, comment, tell me what you think about the car and the build, and uh, some, if, you, if you see something you think I should do. And uh, subscribe if you haven't. Over 70% of the people who watch my videos aren't subscribed, so click that subscribe button and you'll get to see this a lot more uh, often on, on your feed, on your timeline, or on your recommended. And that'll help our channel out a bunch. Um, so I appreciate it, guys, and we will see you in the next one. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.